I recently helped my parents build a gazebo in their backyard, and I thought it would be nice to make a set of wind chimes for the gazebo. Since my parents enjoy gardening so much, I thought I'd use sort of a floral pattern for the wind chime. They used to have a lot of plumerias in their backyard, and I really liked that flower, so this kind of emulates that design. I started by sketching the design on paper, and I transferred the design onto the computer so that I could print out several copies. I got the idea after watching one of Steve Ramsey's videos when he made a set of wind chimes. A lot of the information comes from Lee Height. Lee spent time compiling a lot of information about what goes into a good wind chime. I decided to make the wind chimes out of a piece of maple that I harvested after Hurricane Ike. Since the wood will support the collective weight of five large copper tubes, I thought it'd be best to leave it at about an inch thick, which made it very hard for me to cut through. Here I'm using a rotary tool to score the lines where I'll start the carving. This was kind of a fun exercise for me. I don't really have a lot of experience doing wood carving, so it was nice to give it a try, although I could have picked a softer wood. In hindsight, this was a really bad idea. The rotary tool was a little underpowered and the bit that I was using was very dull, so it was really hard to cut through the maple. The jig that I had made was really not very effective. In the future, I'll definitely make a better jig.
And here you can see the line that forms the circle it really isn't my best work. But since this is the first time I've ever done inlay, I'm actually kind of happy with how it turned out in the end. Thank you.
There's a couple things I wish I'd done a little differently, but overall I'm really happy with how these turned out. They sound wonderful.